right, welcome back to Stucky Farm Orchard and Cider Mill here in Sheridan where the sun is coming up, the pumpkins are all in place, and we're ready. Yes. Fun, fun morning it's going to so get far. even better. But we have a really interesting couple of guests. We want to talk a little bit more about that because everywhere you go, there is a story, especially true for some of the Paranormal. historic buildings in Hamilton County. And joining us right now, Nicole and Michael Kabrowski with UnseenPress.com. And your organization tells ghost stories, but with historical context. So good to see you guys. Very good to see you. Yeah. Good Tell us a little bit about how that works. What do you guys, specifically here in Hamilton? County, yeah. some of those buildings. I'll let you start. Yeah, we give ghost walks in Helen County, Indianapolis, Anderson, Central Indiana, and we talk about the history, we talk about um, the hauntings, yeah. we do a lot of it, uh, Noblesville, Old Jail, the historical society there in Hamilton County, uh, talk about it, investigate it too. So, what are some of the things you've been able to find out? That's what I'd be curious to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at, at the Hamilton County um, Historical Society, there are lots of ghosts. We have a ghost named Sam who was one of the inmates. Uh, one of our investigators had um, a ghost wrap itself around him and stay there for five minutes. Um, he could not see it, but we could. Um, the ghosts of some of the family members are there. Mm. Um, the sheriff's residence and, and their children are there as well. Wow. And then, um, of course, it has a fascinating history. Um, D.C. Stevenson was there and Charles Manson and, uh, yeah. Now, I understand also there was an anti-slavery cemetery. Where is that? Yeah, the anti-slavery Friends Cemetery is in Westfield, okay. which is a Quaker town, Friends. And they were, of course, a lot against the enslavement of people and we talk about the history we also uh, helped clean it and prepare it but yeah the hauntings there have been going we started our tours in Westfield and we heard stories about it for 20 plus years um, about seeing children play about um, a soldier walk in the cemetery and also yeah. kind of being on guard there and a lady in white as well I think that's just fascinating that you all were able to find all this stuff out right here in <laughs> Indiana not many people thought it exists, but you know. We get that all the time saying, oh, I didn't know we had so many. And it's like, yes, they are everywhere. Okay, well, and they're in your book. Yeah, we have several books. This is our latest one about the cursed Circle City, yep. Indianapolis stories. We have one about Westfield. We, yeah. Nicole is working one on can Hamilton we see County. see the cover really quick so we can just show it? Yeah, go ahead. yeah that's it. Okay. The cursed Circle City. Well, mm -hmm. guys, thank you so much for coming on. I really do appreciate you telling us. Yeah. Perfect this time of year to be talking story. about this kind of thing. October. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we're going to send things over to 